Hi, I'm Adam Cohen from Stafford. I'm here to talk to you today about an amazing and brand new technology to come out of Northwestern. It's hard to imagine that only a couple months ago we were sitting in crowded lecture halls like this one. Fortunately, VentureCat, like much of society, has been relegated to Zoom. And without a widespread vaccine or a product like ours, this may be the foreseeable future. Everyone is talking about safely reopening the hub. And as states start to loosen their restrictions, it's important that we open up facilities and buildings in a safe and effective way. In order to do this, there are a number of different solutions. Some include increased cleaning, medical testing, as well as environmental testing that ensures that buildings and facilities are safe for individuals to enter into them. We're gonna be focusing on environmental testing today. And environmental testing has shown that it is not able to scale with the crisis. Current testing procedures are centralized, expensive, and time consuming. What if we had an option that allowed individuals to know their health and safety of their own environment and could do so in a rapid fashion that was cost efficient and that gave people the answers within minutes instead of hours, days, or even weeks? At STEM Loop, we're looking to develop the world's first portable biosensor platform to do exactly this. Our team is made up of world-class leaders in synthetic biology who have written multiple peer-reviewed papers on this and who are inventors on five patents related to biosensors, one that we're specifically optioning from Northwestern in order to develop our SARS-CoV-2 expert. Our team is also made up of business experts like myself who spent the last eight years in the biotechnology industry helping individuals and companies commercialize their drugs. Our testing platform consists of the biosensor, swab, and buffer on the left-hand side, testing device in the middle, as well as our mobile application, which can control our testing device. We've, defined our, we've designed our test so that it can be easily done by almost anybody. So if you can imagine a person takes a swab of a highly touched area, and then puts that sample into the device, the device is then, uh, the result is then shown on the mobile application um, that can be interpreted either by the person taking the test or the facility leader. Our, com our competition's testing device has been massive and have been unable to be taken out of the testing facility. We're looking to empower individuals to understand their health and safety of their own environment by bringing the test directly to them. While some of our competitors have slightly increased the testing capabilities from traditional labs, they're still focused on off-patent technology and it does not really allow them to bring their testing device on site, nor does it allow anybody to use it. It still requires a trained expert to conduct a test. One of the great things about our technology is that it has a wide array of applications. We're currently targeting the COVID-19 environmental testing market. However, our, design, our test is specifically modular and can it be adapted to tackle other infectious diseases, infectious disease and heavy metal markets. We're looking to sell our testing device for $2,000 as well as 150 testing kits for $1,500. And we've priced this appropriately as it's priced below, significantly below our competition as well as below what it could potentially cost for a hazmat cleaning. One of the great things about our costs and our ability to keep our testing kits costs so low is that we've actually commercialized our biosensors for water before and we were able to do that for as little as a dollar a kit. We're looking to help as many people as we can with our product. And one way to do this is to leverage the existing sales channels of environmental service providers. They have relationships with a number of individuals and will be able to us and we'll be able to get our product to market as quickly as possible. Additionally, through over 40 customer interviews, we've identified four markets that could use our product as quickly as possible. On the bottom, you're seeing specific universities and companies that have requested, that have requested to purchase our product when it is ready. In order to do this, we're looking to launch our product by, in order to launch our product by the fall, we're looking to have a beta development, we're looking to have our testing kit done by the end of June, as well as conduct a field validation test and then launch our pilot with one of the environmental service providers later in the summer. We're going to be spending the next six to 12 months commercializing and selling our COVID-19 product.
Now we hope a vaccine is ready and widely distributed. And if that's the case, we have the ability to quickly pivot and tackle other infectious diseases such as Legionella. In the future, we'll be looking to tackle other unknown pathogens as well as chemical testing. To date, we've raised $300,000 primarily in the form of grants. However, some of the grant money can be slow to come in. So we're looking to raise $150,000 to hire two additional technical staff in order to develop our product as quickly as possible. Finally, in the fall, once our product has been proven and we've gone through the field validation steps, we'll be looking to raise an additional $1.5 million to manufacture our product at scale. Please join myself and the rest of the STEM Loop team in bringing Northwestern students back to a safe and healthy environment, as well as hundreds of other students and individuals around the world back to work. Thank you.